Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. We are still out on the farm in Indiana because the farmer said we could stay and it's so beautiful, why not? Although it is getting cold so we will be moving on shortly to head south. This video is really covering a small section of my Q4 guide which if you need more help sourcing on Amazon for Q4, definitely check it out below. I even have a discount code special for this video so you can save $10 off. So buying seasonal items for retail arbitrage is actually a really great way to make profit. You can make a lot of profit rather quickly if you find the right items. And seasons are year round. It's not just holidays. So right now, obviously we're coming up to Halloween. So if you haven't got your Halloween sourcing done yet, you might wanna just do FBM because the chances of it getting to the warehouse for FBA and then sold and shipped to the customer in time for Halloween is growing ever slim. So there's seasonal items year round. So in the summer it's inflatables and it's a little bit longer time frame. During Valentine's Day, obviously it's a little bit shorter of the time frame. The key is to get in rather early and then know when to get out. So when you're scanning in the stores and you are early, you might see that the item is not even on Amazon. So there is a lot of things that are not on Amazon. So if you're scanning in the store and it's a store or generic brand, it probably isn't gonna show up with the UPC. You can always scan the front like you're taking a photo of it and it possibly will come up. And it, if it does, it might not have a rank. If it's something that I think is bound to be on there, I just keep scanning it whenever I come across it and I wait for it to have a rank. I don't buy things without a rank because that means it is so new, it's either not selling or it's just new. If it's new and a hot item, it's gonna sell and eventually it will rank. So that's why I just keep scanning stuff I see and I just see if it has a rank. If I come across it, I'll scan it again. If it has a rank and it's profitable, then I'm gonna buy it. Obviously you can add anything you want to Amazon. So if you think it's a great item and you wanna take the time to add it, you can definitely do that. I don't do that. I just don't prefer to so that doesn't mean you can't do it you can totally do it I'm just not in the gambling and wanting to do like take a chance on things business for my own business a lot of people do and you can actually make great money that's why the saying goes great risk great reward but you can also lose and I just would rather sell things that are known to be selling and there's so many tools out there to help you know that something is gonna sell the rank is the main one and you can use jungle scout estimator it's free junglescout.com slash estimator all you do is you put in the rank the category it's in in the marketplace and it'll tell you how many a month will sell at that rank. Obviously higher ranks, they don't sell as much and lower ranks sell really quickly. Rank is such a key thing for seasonal items. Seasonal items are going to be in the regular categories. So if it's a lawn like inflatable, it's gonna be in the lawn and patio. Even though it's Halloween or Christmas or whatever themed it is, it's still gonna be in that regular lawn category. If it's a grocery item, even though it's pumpkin, it's gonna be grocery. So you know, based on the category of grocery and the rank it is in grocery, how it's gonna sell. So just because it's seasonal, you'll still know how many to buy and if it's worth buying based on the rank. So a clothing item or a costume is probably gonna be in toy or clothing and so you'll know based on the rank it is in toy or clothing if it's gonna sell. Just because it's seasonal doesn't mean you will be like in the dark. You still have all these tools to use to know if and how much it's gonna sell. Just honestly, the rank on Amazon and the Jungle Scout free tool is enough to help you use and make an educated guess of how many you should buy if you should buy it at all. Another question I'm asked that falls into the rank is like, how do you know how many competitive sellers there are or how many you should buy? And does the amount of sellers really bother me? So if it's a low rank in like the thousands or even the 10,000s, I don't care how many competitive sellers there are or how many other sellers there are because that item is gonna sell. And odds are I probably only found like what, 12 total? But when the item starts to get in the higher ranks of the categories, when I'm using Jungle Scout to figure out how many exactly it's gonna sell, those are the ones where I'll take into consideration how many sellers are on it. If it is a 150,000 rank toy and there's 40 sellers, I'm probably gonna pass on it. At that rank with that many sellers, that's gonna take a really long time for me to win the buy box and for it to sell without the price really having to go down. If it's got 100 sellers, but it's ranked like four in grocery, what do I care? I'm gonna buy that thing. A competitive seller is anyone that is two to 3% of the buy box. So if the buy box is 19.99, anyone who is 19.99 to I think it's like 20, 30 or something so basically right around 1999 those are competitive sellers those are people who are all eligible for the buy box and that might win the buy box and while i'm just quickly talking about the buy box the buy box is an algorithm that kind of works in mysterious ways but it really does so 
I'm in Indiana and if someone also in Indiana wants to buy my product or in Ohio or Kentucky, then I'm more likely to get the buy box than a seller whose item is in California. Now, I say I'm in Indiana, that doesn't mean my inventory is, but let's just say my inventory is here also. Another seller who is in California, Amazon's probably gonna let me have the buy box because they don't wanna ship it as far. So that's one aspect to it. Another aspect to it is how much you have in stock. Obviously RA, we don't have a whole lot of stock at any one time, but we still do win the buy box. And then your seller reviews come into play. So you really wanna have a good percentage of positive seller reviews. That's a whole nother story, but those are all different factors that come into the buy box. In my Q4 guide, I break down all the competitive seller and my rank guidelines for Q4 items. So if that is of interest to you, like I said, I have a discount code below special for this video. So if that is helpful, you can also get my bundle of ungating guides. So I have the topical toy, OTC, grocery. You can get all those plus the Q4 guide as a bundle, or you can get just any of the guides that you want. All of that is below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you and I wish everyone a successful, amazing Q4. Let's do this thing.